What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Do you think Sigurd knows? About us? I don't think so. He would have said something. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he is barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. I want to see the Alliance map. What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester. Requesting you specifically for a matter of great secrecy. Foreboding. And who is this Elderman? One of King Alfred's lackeys? According to my scouts, he is a man who cares more for his own indulgences than the safety of his people. Approach with care. I will leave at once. An alliance in Essex would be invaluable, but go with caution. It seems Elderman Beerstan has made this ruin his longhouse. Why is my cup empty? Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Damn Beerstan. His household is as poorly run as his lands. Estrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sow in a skirt. My sweater runner's a worthy woman, you coxcomb, but she's an excellent cook. With a fine nose for truffles. If Birsten does not return soon, wine will not be the only thing spilled upon his floors. Now, gentlemen, everyone is fractious with this waiting. Let us be civil, at least. Lord? Ah, a heroic-looking Dane in our midst. I'm looking for Birsten, the elderman of the Shire. Our Lord is not at home. But his wife is receiving visitors upstairs, in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Les Anglais sont des hommes. And they've eaten us out of hearth and home. We have but one cask of ale and two roasted pheasants left. Let us hope Birstan has at least killed a boar or two, or his stains will add inhospitality to their list of complaints. Cochon! Fifty swine! Shoot, ma chère. There is no use fretting. You! 
gods will come at one cry from me. Sheathe your blade, lady. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. If he's away, I'll speak to you. Oh, that you could, Eivor. For I am sure this hall would shake with our merry wit. But your accord must be reached with him. You don't strike me as a meek Saxon wife. Do you yet see an ember of my Frankish fire, Ravenwalker? Perhaps it dances in my eyes? I'm wary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I'll remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck, he hasn't been eaten, but I'll return either way. Stand to hang up his bow. Dear Estrid, we must discuss the affairs of this land, with or without him. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. They were caught off guard as they supped. Attacked by a beast. Something strong enough to kill a horse. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Biestan still lives. Show me what lies ahead. Justin. Ready your weapon, or accept your fate as a feast for bears. Don't let them charge you. Well fought. I would not have survived this ambush without you. You have my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I'm Estrid sent. Your wife and the Thanes of Essex both want your balls in a blacksmith's anvil. When do they not? You could return and report that the Savage Claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? I'm Norse, and no coin groveler. Intriguing. We Saxons hear only that Danes and Norse are ferocious barbarians, all teeth and claws, with little subtlety or wit. But ho! Are you the Norse I sent word to? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. 
Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights, and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There's pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping your thanes in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love, and a piss-poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Eston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well-crafted bow, my eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, a crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Biston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You mismark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Daub, I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people? Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves at my door before we discuss your favor to Essex, Abel. It may be I can speed your business along. Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adred, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beeston. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Alfred will get bored soon enough. He has bigger pikes to bake than are to be found in this stolid backwater. Alfred's forces are only here because of Estrid's failed kidnap. Now that she is safe, they will soon be gone. And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? He should put his own ham fist in his purse, and contribute coin to the festival. Yes. You worry about the cost of such a festival, one that thanks God for our great harvest. Uh, contribute your own coin, then. And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adrid does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The feared. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Do they not defend your land? 
You'll need all the men you can muster to fight the coming wars. The Danes are a great threat when provoked. Those we cannot ally with, we must fight or lose our lands. There! Have I not answered all your questions? You are a stain on this Shire, Beerstan. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. That ceased their prattling. A fine outcome, Abel. The very soul of balance. A firm hand is all you need, Beerstan. Whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Beerstan. Aren't you worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! <laughs> she does as she must. As do I. But you will discover this soon enough. You have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. Essex seems at odds with itself. Have you called me here to fix the many problems I've already seen today? No, no, I would not inflict the infighting of my thanes upon you, Eivor. Our matters are more... delicate. And of a more personal bent, requiring a finesse and discretion that these Saxons often lack. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I'm too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Francia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Frankia would need a swift ship, with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Eivor. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Eivor. The only thing that keeps my brain thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Alvida, my childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pear. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, bring her to my lakeside cottage, and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Malden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, should I look for Alvida first, or meet with Estrid at the marketplace?
I came first to help you. Your need seemed more pressing. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? You've lived here half your life. Yes, but what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. And what of our plan, the great Lama's kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? Yes, it's a wonderful evening, a blessing of the harvest, full of fruits and fires, drinking and dancing. Revelers with muddy minds and glazed eyes. That's good for us. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one, and her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. <laughs> This captain, who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year. Full of youthful bravado. A Saxon? A Dane. Though Adred calls you raiders, he says that you are here to steal England. Some may be, but I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah, it must be beautiful. Rugged and fearsome, and cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that light hangs in the sky. A road for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. We are here. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Rolfur, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part on the best of terms. I'll bring him round. By force or persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lammas Festival. Rollo! Oh, no. Please, I'm just a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. Someone's at the door, Rolla. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Estrid sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. No, 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 no! Just a second! Good day, sir. Come in. Move! Move! Some help here! Bloody fucking Danes! Open this door! Out! Now! Follow me! <laughs> we found your camp, Dane! Your friends are all trussed up! No one to help you now! Your warriors found better lodgings for our lockers. <laughs> Uh, 
Estrid did not lie, you have fire. And who are you to Estrid? Only a friend. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Norse by the music of your speech. Then you must forgive me. Those Saxons knew about my camp. I was mind drunk to leave my warriors behind. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Follow me or come when you can. Worse than I feared. So many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor. Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. The innocent have nothing to hide. Very well. But do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. I should speak to both, and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. Gerhild, is it? Aye. Rollo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You cannot think I betrayed him. You weren't here when the Saxons attacked. I was hunting. There's fine game in the trees outside the camp, and our people need meat. What was your prey? Rabbits for stew. Rollo's favorite. Who are you to Rollo? I am shield sworn, so long as England and that Frankish witch do not sway him from the true path. Our people deserve better. I hear envy. But of Estrid or Rollo, I cannot tell. You know nothing, Ravenbeak. My concern is for my fellow Danes. You'll find no treachery here. That's all for now. Lordic, yes? What is your story? You want to hear my story? And bring me a mug of ale, and we'll sit and talk as equals. Elsewise, you can have. Where were you when the Saxons came? Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Then I heard Gerhild shouting, and all hell broke loose. Did you see anything at all? Gerhild talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear them, but wasn't nothing good. Sure of that much. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your own skin. Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. Full of spite and ambition, always was. How long has your sword served Rollo? I owe his father a blood oath. If that means wiping Rollo's arse until I die, so be it. And if Rollo was dead, that oath would be fulfilled. He was tired of battle. I'll feast in Odin's Hall one day, but not with the stain of dishonor on my hands. I have what I need for now. I might find some evidence to test their stories. Lorg accused you of treachery. He saw you with a Saxon. Lork? You believe that old crow? His bones crumble and his mind wanders with age. Or he wallows in jealousy. Take your pick. That's all. Lorg. I have what I need for... Have you made your decision? Gerhild claimed to be hunting as Lorg did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. Your shield sister is jealous. She thinks you neglect your people by sleeping with the enemy. She always had ambition. But she accepted my leadership. Swore on her shield. 
Lorik saw her with a Saxon. She claimed he was her lover. Yet she has berated me many times for taking Estrid to my bed. I did not think her a hypocrite. Lorik said he was hunting, but your rags are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. He tires of his blood oath, and with your death, he would be free. He has become old and frail, but he served my father well. I would have freed him without bloodshed. On second thought, perhaps there's more to be learned. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons... What do you see, Sunan? While you were drinking and... Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth. Gerhild betrayed you. No! That's not true! Rollo, I beg you! A shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. To betray their Jarl, but only one had the eyes on to do so. I hope you chose well, for you denied them a seat in my hall. There can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. She was always a jealous crow, beak pricking over every decision I made. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might still be alive, and I will need your help after they're free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. Always knew there was something wrong about her. Spare me your sullen words! My heart is torn. Go. Find something useful to do. I've heard of a safer place than this south of Colchester. Let's you and I go take a look, shall we? I'm sorry that your people suffer, Rollo. Thank you, Eivor. I have much to think on as we journey. I'll leave you to those thoughts. I should not be seen in this area. Ah. My sword will bring you sleep! 
Those men are free. Now we discuss the terms of the kidnap. Your axe arm is strong, Rolo. Never doubt me, Raven Feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right, then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout-hearted than this. Whatever your passions for Estrid. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here. Nor her. We will meet with your men inside Colchester on the night of the Lammas Festival. from so long ago. Die. Cast about this land, my friend. The last house in Molden. Olvida should be here. Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister, that's all. A day in Essex. Now here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. Why did they take your sister? Some of Alfred's men beat a child of the village for stealing bread. My sister would not stand by and see injustice done. Do you know where they're holding Olvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will.
I should be cautious around here. This must be Birsten's love, Alvida. They haven't broken her spirit. We need to find a key. should unlock Alvida's cage. What? What is this? You're not... Stay quiet. I'm here to free you. I cannot walk. My ankle. They were not gentle with me. Then I will carry you. Who are you? Who risked so much to save me? A friend. Of Elrich's? Is he... Almost there. Hmm? 
bless the saints! Here you are, sister, <laughs> safe and well! Me. Rest now. Soon you will be up and about again. Alfida! Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshine milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread. I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Ellerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Alvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy, but without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. I am here at the request of Elderman Beerston. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Beerston, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for, I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his wife, Estrid, returning to Frankia, he sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the Alderman... Oh, God, help me! I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He'll come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he'll ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. I have something to say. My... my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. They still shine brightly, as when we were children. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will burst. Now that you're reunited, what will you do? Are we reunited? I must hear it from your lips, Alvida. It has been many summers, and I have aged ungracefully. I will hear your wooing, Beerstam. God help me, I have nothing to keep me in Molden. And this young lad is Elleridge, Alvida's brother. Hello, your... your... worshipfulness? I am Beerstam, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... how old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Beerstam. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Birsten. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. Before you go, Elleridge, I'd suggest a long, slow walk around the lake. I should leave them to their reunion. The next piece of this drama is the kidnap in Colchester. Beerston, I cannot believe you would come for me after all these years. I never stopped thinking of you, Alvida. Oh. I had forgotten his charm. Still so boyish and eager to make me happy. <laughs> Silly ours. Oh. She has not changed at all. Her soft features, her earthy strength. She will make a good wife. 